I'm Nate and welcome back to the homestead. So today um, I'm doing something a little bit different than what I've been doing. I have to at this point figure out what in the same heck I'm doing with my garden. I have general I have the gym, general layout in my mind at least of the size where I want everything laid out and so on and so forth but I'm sitting here like man I really should kind of mark everything because what I'm doing right now is I'm in the process of digging up the ground to get it ready to plow um, and I'm sitting here like man man you know I got to figure out how to mark this and then Cindy's here with me and she was looking off to the side she goes well you just got them t-posts why don't you use those to go ahead and mark and uh, for what you guys don't know is I bought some t-posts yesterday I'm gonna build an electric fence because white-tailed deer are a big problem here um, up in my area so Sydney's going like, why don't you just take the T-post and at least use those to mark off where you're going to be. And that made sense to me because I'm building an electric fence anyway. And the T-posts are going to go basically where I'm marking anyway because um, they're going to be used as the corner pieces. So I was like, well, screw it. This is a good idea. So I got my T-post hammer inner thingy, my bobber. Um, Cindy and I are going to... Kind of figure out how to lay this out and figured we'd bring you guys with us. Okay, so we've got one stake put in the ground or one T-post, but uh, we noticed a problem. So I want at least 2,000 square feet. I thought that from where I started my digging to where I ultimately wanted to stop, I thought that was 100 feet. So, uh... I've learned two things. One, I need to go get my eyes checked to make sure my depth perception is good. And two, it was actually half that distance. There you go. Well, what's 35 yeah. times 50? Well, what's 30 times 50? 1500. So what's 5 times 50? 500. Is it? Five or is it 250? Times 50. So 50 times 30, well 50 times 35 we came out to what? 30 times 50. It's 1500. Yeah. And then we added another 5 feet was another 250 feet. Right. So it's 1750 square feet. Right. So where am I going to get the other 250? How much further down do I need to go? I need to take in another five feet down if I want 2,000 square feet, right? So what we wanna know right now is if moving another five feet down from the spot I'd originally marked would be too steep. And I'm caught on a vine, aren't I? Yeah. So about another five feet would be, I feel like this is further than five feet. You want to do a draw? Five. So that'd be about five feet right there. No way, that's only five feet. Get her tight, cause I'm only a size 10. Yeah. The real question is if it's too steep. What do you think? Would this be too steep of a drop for beds? Right here? Yes. yes. And we don't have, and I don't really have any room to Maybe go. Maybe have to suck it up and not get 2,000 feet. I wanted 2,000 square feet. Leave it in the comments. You need to just suck it up. I guess I'm sucking it up. But then again, I don't necessarily need the five feet. 
But then if I'm not doing five feet, what would be the point of doing like two feet or an extra foot? Right. Because that's just stupid. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we should. You're right. So obviously there's more to this video, but I was sitting down doing my editing and I realized that we accidentally captured like six hours of footage. And so you guys have only seen about six minutes of it and a lot of it was kind of a waste. I've got about another three or four hours of footage to go through. So this is a multi-parter. Like, share, subscribe, and get ready for part two.